So hello, and I wanted to make a little intro for my haul video because I um, completely forgot about that. So um, there's a sale on UrbanDecay.com, and um, that is what this haul is, an Urban Decay haul, and everything I bought is on sale. So um, I just wanted to tell you I'm going to um, upload this before the sale is over so if you see anything you like you should um, hurry and go try to get it because it's on sale so whenever it sell sells out it will um, probably be gone forever so <laughs> just uh, keep that in mind and I believe that's all I have to say so um, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in a second bye um, it obviously it comes with the primer samples, this primer for eyeshadow and brightening and pore, f pore perfecting. So those are some samples. Um, I'm pretty sure this usually comes. First of all, I got the Skull Shadow Box and it looks like this. And on the back it has the um, card with the shadows on it. You just open the plastic packaging like so. And um, so it opens magnetically, the flap, and it has a really big mirror. I'm trying to figure out how to not blind the camera, but um, yeah, so there's the mirror. It has a little um, sponge applicator here that I just took out. It was, um, I got it for $12, but it was originally $36. This, it's actually smaller than I thought, but it, um, moving on, next I got the Vintage Big Fatty Mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. You do just the same thing. Open it up and this is what the mascara looks like. It, um, uh, it's pretty heavy. That, the wand reminds me of the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Wand. Mine's all messed up because it's um, old and dried out. But that's a pretty big wand. And so, I mean, you know. It kind of also reminds me, well actually it does remind me of the um, Grow Luscious. It's like their package is the same size and everything, so it reminds me a lot of that one. But this one is super messed up because it's all um, dried out, so I'm just going to give it a little plump in there. That brush is like almost exactly the same. It probably would be if this one wasn't all clumpy and old. So there's that. Um, that was five dollars originally twenty. So um, I thought nat natural lighting would be better because I noticed that um, the focus was kind of off. So I turned off the light, and now I just have my window open. So the uh, light might be darker, might be better. I don't know. Let's Back see. to where I was. the big fatty mascara. I would. Um, not buy for full price. Um, I probably wouldn't even purchase it again for five dollars just because I think my um, Rimmel uh, mascara that I have now. The next thing are the um, vintage single eyeshadows. This is what the packaging looks like. This is in the shade X and um, it's just like a little uh, silver coin I guess and uh, just flip it open and that's what X looks like. X um, is a duochrome pink, well, corally pink, I think. It's supposed to look like pink right now. And then when I do this, it looks like pink and gold, I guess? I don't know. So it's coral and flashes, um, flashes gold, so I hope that shows up on the camera. I just really love duochrome or duotone, whatever, shades. I am just in love with the way they look. So I set up a new camera because my other one that I thought was better quality was um, acting up. So um, now I'm using this. And I think the lighting is darker. So this is Maui Laui. And um, it's a gold. Okay, so it's getting a reflection from uh, a book. It's blue. But it looks like a gold with... Um, silver glitter which um silver glitter kind of made me um cautious to buy it because I don't um use my shades um with glitter in them so 
hopefully I use it anyway, I'm not sure yet. And um, the next, that brings me to the next shade, which is Blaze. And it looks like this. I used it today. Um, and it is like absolutely gorgeous. Like, it is a uh, golden peach. And it's just like perfect color. That's all I can say. It's a perfect color. Next and final shade of the single eyeshadows I got is Roach. And it looks like this. It is a um, deep brown with a red sheen. And um, so all of these eyeshadows were $6. Originally $17. So I did get a good deal. Um, my second to last item is the Lip Love Honey Infused Lip uh, Therapy. Lip Therapy. And this is what the box looks like, and this is what the product looks like. So, as you can see, it is kind of small. Well, it's not small, but to me, it looks small. I don't know. That's just uh, what I thought of when I saw it. And so this is a um, berry purple kind of color, but it doesn't have much tint on your lips. And if you, okay, I'm not going to beat around the bush, it smells bad. Obviously it's the um, honey uh, scent. So, I mean, I kind of have grown fond of it actually. Um, I just think it smells like really strong flowers. So, it's supposed to be really good for your um, lips. Don't really want to read it, but um, it's supposed to moisturize, yada yada yada. So originally that was twelve dollars, and I got it for four. I got is the lipstick, and I got this in the shade Sellout. This is what the packaging looks like. This little sword right there. Just pull it out. And it's purple, which I love. And then that's what color it is. I kind of messed up the tip, so that sucks, but I'm just going to swatch it. Alright, there. That's pretty accurate. So that's the color that um, I got. Um, I mean, it was originally $22 and I got it for 8 So I got it because I thought it would be a great fall color and I don't have a lot of fall lipsticks. And um, thank you for watching my Urban Decay haul and I hope you have a great day. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, comment below. At first, honestly, it smelled like cat pee, and I was like, I'm putting cat pee on my lips. I'll get to that. So this is what the wand looks like. It's like, okay, this is not working. Okay. Oh, nasty up there. Camera. <gasps> One of the shades I did not. Oh, smooth. One of the uh, uh, we have the Neutrogena. Well, and also, okay, I'm just gonna. I think I just dropped one. Um, I think um, it's like a gold. Okay.